Nancy and the Meerkats. Bonjour. This is our new track. On the podcast. Nancy and the Meerkats. Merci. <laughs> News of Nancy and the Meerkats has spread thanks to the sellout tour, and a TV crew have even come down to interview the band. And we want to say thank you to all our fans for supporting us. Don't forget to check out the website too, nancyandthemeerkats.com. Nice one, Nancy. Maybe we'll make the six o'clock news. Crack that, and millions of people will see you. Incroyable! How does TV do that? You know, send the videos into everyone's homes. Not just homes, Nance. These days you can watch telly on your mobile phone or tablet, wherever you are. The internet may be powerful, but TV still packs a punch, no doubt about it. I guess TV is one of the most famous inventions of all. I expect the person who came up with that idea became rich beyond their wildest dreams. It's not quite that simple, Nancy. Like many inventions, the first person to come up with the idea isn't always the one to make it a success. A guy called John Logie Baird was the first to transmit moving pictures back in 1925, and a few years later he sent a signal from here in London all the way to New York. But it wasn't his invention that became the TV we have today. No, you see, a little bit later on, another way of transmitting pictures was being developed. It used more electronics and was less mechanical. Poor Logie Baird. He must have been gutted. I know how that feels. Every time Kitty Perry, that horrible hairball, steals one of our ideas. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, it makes me want to do something not very ladylike. That's not quite the same as what happened with the telly, though. John Logie Bear's invention was quite a lot different to the newer type of television. His creation wasn't as reliable, and the picture was pretty rubbish. Even he himself said that he was doomed to be the man who sows the seed but does not reap the harvest. I suppose there is a lesson in there for inventors too. If you can improve on an invention that already exists, you might be able to come up with a new product, even if the idea started a long way back. Exactly. There's hardly ever just one person behind an invention. It's like my meerkats. I wouldn't be half as brilliant without my girls behind me. Although, I'd still be quite brilliant. No, that's rubbish! <laughs> Only joking. Anyway, never mind the men behind the TV. I want to see moi, the divine diva dog, on the front of the telly. Come on, where's the remote? Nancy and the Meerkats with support from the Intellectual Property Office.